What's up everybody, Jason for Vasa Productions. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the full-time filmmaker transition that Parker uses on his channel, but I'm gonna show you how to do it inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Coming up. All right, so here we are inside the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve. Let's recreate the full-time filmmaker transition. Now you can see in the timeline, I've got two clips of Parker here from a video just to sell this transition a little bit more. Let's come up to Fusion Composition under Effects here. Left click and drag that into the timeline. Decrease this to two seconds. So pull that in because by default, your Fusion Comps are five seconds. Let's make it two seconds and line it up roughly between the middle of these two clips. Let's jump into the Fusion tab now to get to work. All right, take the media out here, drag that off to the right a little bit. Take a background node, left click and drag this into the workspace and let go. Take its output and drag it into the media out. And by default, we have a black background. With background selected, come up to alpha, bring that down to zero. The next thing that you need to do is add another background. Take a background node right here, drag that in. Take its output and right into the other background's output. There we go. By default, again, it's black. We need to come up here to color and change this to white. Left click on white right there, hit OK. And now I've got a white background. To see this transition a little better, I need to decrease the fit here to about 25% to make this a little easier to work with. The next thing that I wanna do is add a spline mask. With background selected, come up here, left click on this, right? That's the polygon tool. And I need to make an angle mask to cover the screen. So what I do is click right here, we're gonna click right here, left click right here again, left click right here, and let's left click right here. Now it's not perfectly straight, let's just bring this edge up a little bit right here, just like that. So the first thing that I need to do is animate this mask. So I come over here to frame zero, just like this, take the mask and bring it off the screen right here. Now I need to select the keyframe right here, so create that keyframe, come to frame number five right here, and left click and drag the center X position until it's covering part of the screen just like this. Basically just have this little transparent area right over here on the side, okay? The next thing that I wanna do is come to frame 42 right here and then take that X position and move it to the left again, but this time we're gonna bring it to here so we have this area transparent right here. So we're animating this mask and the last thing I need to do is come over here to frame 48 and left click and drag the center X position until the mask is completely gone off the screen. So I come back here to the beginning and just hit spacebar, it animates on, and then it does that. Nice and easy. Now we wanna make some adjustments to this really quick here. So we're gonna come up here to spline, left click on that, select the polygon that we have here, left click to zoom to fit, come over here, left click and drag these, Highlight them by letting go, hit F to flatten these. And then what I wanna do is work on the two keyframes in the middle of the animation, okay? So I wanna actually take this handle right here from the third keyframe, hold on Option or Alt on Windows, Option on a Mac, and just left click and drag this out to the edge, the beginning, sorry, of the other keyframe. Do the same thing with this handle right here, drag it all the way to there, and now what I wanna do is watch this, and you can see there's kind of that delayed effect. So we match his animation, the full-time filmmaker animation, a lot better than we did without that pulling of the keyframes. Hit spline here to deselect that. Now what I need to do is work on the logo animation. It's gonna be a pretty quick fusion composition. You're gonna see how quickly you can create this in Resolve. So take the full-time filmmaker logo right here, drag it into the workspace, take its output, and bring that right into the background that we have there. That creates a merge right here. You can see the logo appearing now. Take this merge and bring it right over here and then take the logo, which is media one, and take that and just right click on it and hit rename, left click on rename. Come over here. Full-time filmmaker logo, we'll just label that. Now what I wanna do is add a transform node to this so I can resize it if I need to. So left click on transform with that node selected right here for full-time filmmaker logo. Perfect, okay. Let's take Parker, let's go to the right with the size, make him a little bit bigger so he really fills the screen like he does in the animation for his channel, all right. 
The next thing I want to do is take the full-time filmmaker logo and I need to mask it out because there's text going on there. So left click on the rectangle mask right here. Perfect. Take the mask and just focus on Parker himself instead of the text there. Just drag this over. We need to fit him perfectly inside there. So we cut out all the letters, right, of the logo, but we keep Parker in the animation. The next thing that we need to do is go to frame zero, click on the transform for Parker's logo here, bring Parker off the screen like this, right about here, left click on the keyframe right here, come to frame five, left click now and drag the X position until Parker is just at the edge of the white here. Then what I wanna do is come down to frame 42. We're gonna create some extra movement in this animation. I'm gonna take Parker and bring him back to the center a little bit, just like this, and then go to the end and left click and drag the X position so Parker goes right off the screen like that. Now, if we play this with the space bar, we pretty much had the full-time filmmaker transition made already. We're just gonna tighten this up a little bit and make it a little bit smoother, okay? Let's come up to spline and let's left click on that. Left click and drag over the first set of keyframes here, hit S to smooth. Left click and drag over the last two keyframes, S to smooth. And what I wanna do is zip these last ones a little faster. So hold Option or Alt on Windows, Option on a Mac, drag that handle out till it's right even with the first one. And now let's look at that animation again. And there you've got it, right? Okay, hit spline. What I wanna do is just add some motion blur to this to really sell it. Come up to settings when you're on this transform one. Click motion blur, come up to the polygon one here. Come over to settings, hit motion blur. Let's go back to the edit tab to see our transition. So there you have it, the full-time filmmaker animation recreated inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion in nine nodes. If anybody tells you you can't do the same types of animation and motion graphics work inside Resolve quickly, like you can in After Effects, they haven't spent enough time inside the program. All right, so that wraps it up for how to recreate the full-time filmmaker transition. If you found this video helpful or you feel like you learned something today, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. I'm Jason for Vasa Productions. We'll see you next time. All right.